Hey everybody and welcome back to the video series where we go from f beginner trader to funded by Apex Trading. Just to be absolutely transparent about what's going on here, I am currently trading a $50,000 combine account going through the evaluation process with Apex Trading. So that means that technically speaking, this is not a funded account and is not a live account. So let's take a peek at the daily chart and the trades and where the account is at. Unfortunately, I had a, a bit of an embarrassing day today. Like I know better, but the psychology got the best of me today and ended up with another red day despite having, you know, one very fantastic trade to start the day. So let's open up the, uh, the account summary. Oh, that's yesterday here. Where's my files? Pardon me. Here we go. So that is today ended up with negative $193.75 off one trade. And we'll get into how and why that happened all in a little bit here. But let's check out where the account is at. Account is currently sitting at $50,081.06. So still green on the account, but another step backwards today, unfortunately. Let's uh, jump into the daily here, as we always do. We like to start our analysis. We're rejecting this supply zone. We've got the daily demand zone below. If we zoom in a little bit, we've got some uptrends here. And then I've marked some more demand and supply zones on the hourly chart. So let's take a look at the hourly chart here. So we kind of stuffed up into these two hourly zones in the after, in the after hours of the pre-market session. And then let's mark this as well. So we hit this on the hourly supplies demand zone as well. We can essentially call this one done. So we'll get rid of that. As you can see, nice strong sell off, push right back up, like almost regained the entire day and then sold off really hard right at the end of the day again. Kind of a bizarre day, almost like what we did yesterday, but we got this little run up into the after hours, but yeah, straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. So two days in a row, we've kind of done the same thing. And I was not expecting that. And I got a little bit greedy with my trading. Like the psychology got the better of me today, unfortunately. Let's take a look at the executions here. I think that's yesterday. So let's go all the way over to today. There we go. And look at this right mess. <laughs> What a mess, honestly. So the first half of the trade is actually fantastic. And I really should have just called it quits there. So let's uh, bring up an arrow tool here. So got short here. We're kind of testing this area. We had a downtrending uh, cumulative delta. We tested this kind of like wick area here, got short took a while for this trade to work but when it did it really started working i only got in with you know half size because what i wanted to do was try and take this area if we came to retest get another get another half in there and then ride it down but we just went straight down didn't get any real pullbacks took off half my position here at that point i was up maybe 130 dollars locked in so a total of 260 open or 260 net PL, one 130 closed push down to here breaking down into the uh the hourly supply zone and into some single print areas on the tpo you can talk about tpo charts if you'd like to time price opportunity charts but uh yeah, this is where I should have closed the trade when we started reclaiming here, but I tried to do this whole situation where we, you know, get an ad on the retest, but down here, like already into my price target. So I brought my average down so much. My average was kind of like here now, which is nuts, you know, adding two to my single contract. And then I added one more when we made a trap of this area again not a good ad we started making uptrend at that point too so like uptrend get this on the uh 
uptrend here, uptrend here. Like, what am I thinking? I add one more, silly, and then stop out for nearly my max loss. Like, I could have gotten out here or out here or out here and never gotten the ad and had a fantastic day, walked away, not worried about trading for the rest of the day. But I sat around and watched it literally give back my entire position throughout the rest of the day. Like, super frustrating, completely preventable. I know I've got a million arrows on this, on this chart here now, unfortunately, but just for sake of walking through the psychology here, like added, brought my stop down, added, brought my stop down, added again, brought my stop up to above here. Cause I'm like, oh, there's no way it's gonna go all the way. There's no way, there's no way. Of course it does, taps me out, ridiculous. And then proceeds to sell off again after testing this previous, this previous area here, right? Check that out. Wick, my initial entry, didn't even get to my original stop loss and then crashed right back down. Another 30 points. So I had the trade right, didn't capitalize, didn't take it off the table and just shot myself in the foot today. So we'll come back tomorrow with fresh eyes, take another look at it. Um, let's take a quick look at the calendar here. So the month of August so far, we have one, two, three, four winning days and three three losing days and those are all essentially max loss days nearly two hundred dollars each so we're uh kind of break even on the account for the month at this point so if you guys are at all interested in watching me go through this evaluation process as a beginner trader trying to find consistency you can hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on those notifications so that you see when these videos are out and you update, you get an update of my trading and how the process is going and we can work through this together and try and become consistently pro profitable traders together. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what else you'd like to see, any questions you have about my trading. Also, any comments or suggestions that you have, have put them in the comments below as well. I'd love to read through those and, you know, get some feedback on what I'm doing here. Also, if you're at all curious, I trade with a group called LPR. You can find them in the link below and they have, you know, some training. We go over footprint charts, all that kind of nonsense. You know, there's a great team over there helping me try and find consistency. So give them a, give them a little visit and it'd be cool to see y'all in the chat. So Hopefully your week is going better than mine at this point, but let's come back tomorrow with uh, with fresh eyes and fresh and a fresh head and give it another crack. So until then, I'll see you tomorrow.